Excuse me. Yes. Can I go in for free? No, you have to pay. I have the belt and the glove. Mm, no, you still have to pay. Okay, I pay. Sorry. 好了，今天到了 UFC 健身房，我现在准备要做一次很好的训练，而且我要找一个教练来带我。那今天我针对的目标是我的左膝盖，其实在年少时代打篮球就已经有伤害了。那在这几年，我膝盖的疼痛是非常的严重。我希望能够找回一些运动表现能力，除了肌肉肥大的训练之外，那今天我们请经理来帮我介绍一个这边他认为最棒的教练来带我训练，好吗 ？OK， 我们的经理 Aaron。Hi guys, my name is Aaron. I'm the general manager here at UFC Gym Anaheim. Right next to me on the left, I have one of the best trainers that we have. His name is Elijah.、Uh, one thing that I really do appreciate about him is that today Kai wanted to do some leg workouts. Yes. They tell me that he has some issues with his knees. Right here. Now he's been having this issue for a couple of years. Oh, many oh, years. <laughs> 等一下 ，Elijah 叫我做什么，我就做什么。今天我就跟他了，好吗？我们看下去。那刚刚经理帮我介绍的这一位教练是他们这边算是很很顶尖的教练哦。除了正常的正肌减脂之外，在运动模式的建立跟呃动作的呃矫正方面，他都有很多的经验。所以今天可能除了训练之外，从我们做的激动治疗到最后的放松，应该一整套下来会对我的膝盖有很大的帮助。我们开始了。So we're gonna start you in the cryotherapy. So what this is gonna do? It's gonna get the body. Really cold. Uh huh. We're gonna hit the back of the vagus nerve. It's gonna help release a bunch of good endorphins, so you feel amazing for your workout before we go into. So today, first round, we're gonna experience this cold breathing. My wife knows that I'm afraid of heights. Second, I'm afraid of cold. This is really cold. Come on. Now we're ready to go in. Okay. He said when I'm in, I'm ready to go in. 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 Oh. Here we go. So when we're in here, we just really want to focus on the breathing, being able to calm the heart rate down, get the heart rate to a nice, slow pace, so that way he can let his body relax. A few moments later. Oh, 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 他说：“你是不是好像整个醒过来？”我说：“像喝了十杯咖啡。”然后他说：“接下来的三四个钟头，你都会有这么清醒的感觉。”我现在觉得整个背后还是冰的，完全冰的。OK， 有朋友问说：“这个跟进到冰水里面我不一样？”我告诉你，冰水也不过就是零度、一度，对不对？零度就结冰了，你不可能在冰块里面嘛。这个是零下摄氏大概是六七十度，华氏负一百。刚刚我们这个是。负一百六十度，最强是负一百七十五度。大家可以去用数学算一下，这个真的不一样。Good. Um, how long have you had knee pain for? You know what? I had a, a ACL complete tear. Okay. Back in 2006 or 2007.、Okay. I can't remember correctly、okay. what year. That's almost 20 years ago. Yeah. I didn't do the surgery. Okay. I just let it heal. Okay. Okay. So right now, I probably don't have this right here. Okay. And then、um, several years ago,、yeah. I was still playing basketball.、Yeah. You know, once you play basketball, you never you never give up. Yeah. Right. And after some, you know, like really intense hops,、mm -hmm. the back of the the hamstrings, the attachments. Got you. So、uh, after cryotherapy, how is it feeling now? Right now, it feels good. Okay. Any、yeah. limitations that you have? Um. Once it's warmed up,、yeah. I have good、uh, range of motion. Yeah,、okay. but when it's cold, I don't have any range、okay. of motion. 教练刚刚稍微问了一下我的膝盖的受伤历史，我有解释给他听。然后他说他自己是有呃、uh, CES 的这个学习过，他有那个矫正性运动的一个证照，所以他希望能够帮助我的膝盖跟我的全身呃、uh, 身体呃、uh, 松紧度稍微做一点调整，给我一些运动的建议，希望我可以一路运动到九十五岁。我也希望，好吗？ I want you to give me some walking lunges. Walking、okay. lunges. Walking lunges. All the way down, 90 degrees. Yep. Tap,、okay. step, reset, drive, reset. Got it. Lunge forward. Okay. We're gonna go 10 down and then 10 back.
I have to let you know, when I bend down to 90 degrees, like this spot right here, pinch. still feels a little bit hurt. Okay, so like a yeah. tight, is it like a slight pinch in there? Uh, yeah, slight pinch, yeah, okay. that's the word. Like right here, in this, this very spot right here. That's the problematic spot, yeah. On that back side of that knee? Back side of this knee right here. Okay, yeah. go ahead, bring it down one more time. So, he刚刚简单来说，他让我做了十个分腿蹲，去做一些评估，还有做了四次的双手过头的深蹲。他说基本上我的前后左右的肌肉并没有严重失衡，啊，但重点是我的为什么左边膝盖后方还是会有疼
Okay, so this would be a great activation and warm up before you do any leg day. This is the activation yeah. and warm up. You know what? The last one, last five reps, my knees are feeling great. I'm telling you. Okay, good. No pain in the front and in the back. Okay, good. good okay, good. but the foot is getting sore. Imagine if you're wearing cushions like this on your hands all day. Uh huh. How weak our hands would be, uh -huh. and how much of the nerves and sensory would go away. So, generally, he wants me to practice all of these activations in the morning. We call it activation. You say it's activation movement. Let's practice it first. When I did the last two sets, my knee was sore. I don't care if it's the activation movement or the reason why I changed my knee's posture. My knee pain is almost gone. 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 就表示他说，平常你看你穿这么厚一个球鞋哈，这个球鞋就像它如果是一个保护的话，你的脚就不用出力了。那你脚不出力，其他地方自然就放松了。那现在我的脚底开始出力，反倒我的从脚底连到以上的其他关节，相对来说就没有这么大的压力了。我觉得挺好的。好，那现在他要带我训练两个腿的训练的动作了。我们看看他要怎么样的让我的膝盖附近肌肉加强吧。Let's go. Okay, what we're doing here? So we're just gonna do single leg. Reaches here, okay. So you're gonna grab this bar. Uh huh. You're gonna have a nice, good grip. We're gonna go single leg, right side. This is gonna be on the inside. Uh huh. All I want you to do is let that back leg come up. Uh huh. And I want you to reach towards your arch here, nice okay. and controlled. I want you to pull with the glue. Bring the bar back up to thigh. Okay. Nice squeeze on the right side. Control down. Pull. 所以等于现在是做一个用这个地地雷哦，地雷管做一个单腿的硬举。那单腿的硬举的话，他说尽量把背打直，膝盖微弯，然后上来的时候尽量用臀跟腿后的力量。那等于是一个臀跟腿后的训练。那我倒觉得这个设计是挺好的。It's it's heavy everything. Yeah, it's heavy. <laughs> so single leg. Yep. So slight bend in that knee, low this leg. You're gonna reach, let this back leg come up. There you go. There you go. Good. Now I want you to drive, squeeze through that right side. Whoa. So follow this path straight down. Back leg up, back leg up. There you go. Pull and squeeze through right side. Good. A little bit more. I actually have better right balance here. Yep. Yeah. There you go. Good. Again, controlling. Ah! There you go. That looks good. Two more. In my hand. Good. Pull. Keep this glute really loaded. Last one. Good. 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 And pull. 我刚刚说这个，这个东西，因为它是有连到那个地方，所以它是有有一个稳定性要去维持。如果你只是用哑铃或是用壶铃。本身，当你过了髋关节上来超过了那个四十五度角以后，到直了，你后面的张力就没有了。这个的话，倒是会让我的臀跟腿后的张力一直保持在诊断离心跟向心的部分。So bring that right foot up. Up. Yep, a little bit more. Get that arch. Okay. Right about there. 基本上你的脚的足弓对准这一个杠铃的头就对了。There you go. Load glue. Good. Control core. Good. Pull. Squeeze. Good. Good tempo. Keep that tempo. And pull. Good. Drive. There it is. Oh, that's a lot of stability, man. Yep, that's good. 他说做单边跟做双边还是有不同，单边你还是身体会需要照顾两边的平衡，所以你身体在功能上还是会有一些进步。那我常常习惯做双脚的直腿硬举，跟这个刚刚第第六下做完上来，腿后的也许对于肌肥大刺激的感觉没有这么的强烈，但是你身体用力的感觉，结束的感觉真的不太一样。哦，其实说真的。如果今天我们的目标不是要肌肥大，就外面极度的肌肥大，为的是比较长的运动时间跟功能上来讲的话，我倒觉得大部分的朋友，尤其过了四十五岁、五十岁以上的人，会需要一些教练是专门来带类似这个样子的训练。Try to create as much of an unstable 
placement for you okay. with this ball, okay? Lunge back. You're gonna really load that leg. I want you to squeeze this ball, and I'm gonna shake the ball. Squeeze with the hands. Yep, I'm gonna shake the ball. I want you to try to control this as much as you can. Okay. For 20 seconds. So he says this action is he usually likes to take his students in class to show them the more interaction with the teacher. So I'm going to do a split squat. Keep your hands in the air for 20 seconds. Keep your hands in the air for 20 seconds. I can imagine that the whole body is doing a short squat. Then he will help me to hold it. Then he will keep it stable. Let's see what happens. Ready? Yep. Here we go. Let me push it. There you go. Good. Good. Keep that core strong. Keep those legs strong. Good. 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 Two and one right there. Good. Yes, sir. Good. You feel everything. Yeah. Yes. Core, legs, everything on this one. Yeah. Legs too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're getting an isometric out of this too. This is almost like an isometric, right? Muscle contraction training. Yes. Yeah. We're we're holding yeah. you in the iso position. I yeah. feel the lungs, the cardio too. Yeah. <laughs> the cardio too. Yeah. There it is. Good. Yes, sir. Five, four, three, <laughs> two, and one. Right there. Good. <laughs> okay, your turn. Got some blood. <laughs> Get down. Ready? <laughs> yes, ready? Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep, yep. There it is. Good. That's good. <laughs> yes, sir. Good work, bro. Good work. Right. I feel out of breath when I train you. Yeah. Not when you train me. <laughs> yeah. I was getting yeah. too hyper. <laughs> After that, do you have anything that's special about recovery besides the cryotherapy? Yeah, so we have uh, our Normatec sleeves, so uh, compression sleeves. He said, wait a minute, he has a sleeve called what? I heard the sleeves. He said, he's going to put it in a row, and then he's going to increase your blood pressure. We know some of the body's because you have to use blood pressure to take your blood pressure. Whether it's blood pressure or something, it will be used to be used. So he's going to let me use my feet to relax my feet. Let's try it again. So thankfully we have the big sleeves for you. Why is it a little bit like the pressure pressure? You want to pressure the pressure? Oh yeah, take my blood. Right? I'll stand up. Yep. I feel like I'm going to go to the water. Oh, oh. So this, this is our the air compressor here. So this okay. is the air tube here. So we're gonna plug this in. Okay. This is the air tube. He first gave me the highest rate. He said it will start decreasing again. It will start decreasing again. So then it will start deflating. And then it's gonna start moving your blood. And especially around the knee areas where we get a lot of buildup inflammation. Uh -huh. It's gonna help really flush all that stuff out. How long is the process? So you can go up to 30 minutes on this. Up to 30 yeah, minutes? Yeah, up to 30, maybe 40 minutes. What do you minutes. recommend? I would recommend the whole session, yeah. So, no matter what we started at the beginning, the treatment of the treatment and this kind of thing, it's all about the healing part. So, I think the training part, we've talked about a lot. The food part, we've talked about a lot. The healing part, besides sleeping well, sleeping well, sleeping well, and sleeping well, we can also talk about other things that we can talk about. For example, you see, Zhang Huang, he is a very important person who is a very important person who is a very important person. 我记得是一百五十万啊，他光是在运动恢复上，不管是泡冰澡啊、冰冻治疗啊，或者是按摩师啊，或者是整肌师，或是像这样的东西，他都有在做的，好吗？所以运动恢复、运动认真运动很重要，但是恢复也非常重要。好了，那今天我在这边等一下就要做三十分钟了。Hard work can, can I do that cryotherapy afterwards again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Why not? Huh? <laughs> yeah, let's go. Yeah, before I kind of scared right now, I, I <laughs> yeah. kind of like it. Yeah, I'll be there for you. All right. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yes, of course. Thanks. Thank you. Oh, 谢谢 Elijah 今天带我们看了这么多不一样的治疗的方式。那今天感谢各位朋友的观看，记得帮我按订、赞阅、小叮当。我们下一集见，拜拜。好的，各位朋友，我们现在在 UFC 这边，我访问到的是这个健身房的经理。那一般的健身房，我们都知道健身房里面有什么样的训练，但这边稍微有一些他们这个点特殊的地方，我们让经理来稍微跟大家解释一下。Hello, Aaron. Hi. 
So please introduce the specialties about this gym to our audience. Sure. Yes. So uh, in a lot of communities, there's a lot of gyms that are more fitness based, where you just go in there to hit the weight, do some cardio. Mm -hmm. The one thing that's very unique about our location yes. is that we are called a one-stop shop. And what I mean by that is uh, a lot of parents like to take their kids to like Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, yes. kickboxing. Uh, they might want some type of like a youth class for doing cardio, weightlifting. Now, you have to go to different places for those. Mm -hmm. You have to pay extra maybe $200 a month. Here, we actually do all of that. We do mm -hmm. daycare. We also allow the, the parents to also take these classes for the fraction of a cost. Yeah, I heard that you have kids club too. We do. We have kids yes. club. We uh -huh. have kids club from the hours of like in the morning from 9 a.m. to 12. It's mm -hmm. going to be from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. And again, right now we're taking kids from six months all the way to 13 years old. 13. Yes. And kids that are, let's say, four years old, they want to take a boxing class while the parents want to work out. Mm -hmm. This is a place that they can do that. Sounds good. Okay. And another yeah. good thing is we do also have something that's very big called recovery. Recovery. Now, recovery is mm -hmm. very huge. A lot of people think that recovery is only after you work out. Yes. But recovery is also very important before you work out. Before. Mm -hmm. Okay. So a lot of gyms, they don't really have a lot of recovery. They might have like a hydro massage where you lay on a bed and it kind of just little, a bit of a Oh, wave. with the water, right? Yeah. A hydro we, massage. We have that here as well. Okay. But we have even more stuff like, if you look behind me, you have Norma Tech. Uh -huh. Basically, for people that run, it'll allow your legs to be 80% recovered. Uh -huh. And we also have cryotherapy people That's think you're supposed good. to do it after you've yeah. done it before we I've saw you it doing before. it you're you're freezing right okay that allows you to have better blood flow uh, mental sharpness gets rid of any joint pain also allows you to burn some fat mm -hmm. boost your metabolism we have also infrared sauna so it'll help you lose some weight we also have red light therapy i don't mm -hmm. know if you know what that is red light is normally used for skin care to okay. promote like skin regeneration to make you look younger uh -huh. now the red light therapy for us is for the entire body oh i need that <laughs> I, need that. I think we both need it now. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding, you look great. But what I'm trying to get at is that the red light therapy will allow to promote more uh immunity as well as regeneration of not just your skin, but uh -huh. also like your joint. So that's gonna be very, very good for you as well. The soft tissues. Soft tissues, wow. correct, correct, correct. Uh -huh. And then we also have a compression massage bed. Now here's one thing that other UFC gyms do not have that we're gonna be getting in the next week. Or two. What is it? It's called the cocoon. Cocoon. <laughs> so a cocoon is gonna be this uh, machine that allows you to take a nap for just 20 minutes. Uh -huh. Now that has a little bit of an ambiance to it and you could change the temperature on it. Uh -huh. You take a nap for 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Okay, when you do that, you'll wake up like you slept for around five hours. No. No way. Yeah, so it's gonna give you mental sharpness. It'll make you feel less stressed. It's like a phone quick charge. Yes, basically like a quick charge. Uh -huh. But then a lot of people when they sleep, they wake up restless, tired, yes. right? Yes. This will make you feel like you've actually had a good night's rest of sleep. For me, working as a manager, meeting uh -huh. so many people, having a lot of things in my head, I need that. That we way I could always that. do it over and over <laughs> yeah. again. And right now we live in a very busy lifestyle where we're always mm -hmm. on our phone. Yes. You know, a lot of things are happening so quick because you have so much information. Mm -hmm. Having those 20 minutes to just reset you will mm -hmm. really allow you to just go about your day with a lot more um, ease. That's yeah, what we're, so that's, that's what we're gonna sounds here. really good. Yeah, Thank yeah. you Aaron for telling us. Definitely, All right. come and check us out. All right, come and check us out.